Next gen Apple Watch to support cellular connectivity, Xiaomi to develop their own mobile processors, Nokia to buy Wittings, and much more on today's daily. This is day 117 of 2016 and you're watching Phone Arena Daily, your everyday fix of technology news. A new report suggests that Apple is apparently working on a new Apple Watch which will feature a built-in cellular connectivity. The smartwatch will also have a faster processor that would enable a faster loading time for the apps. Apple had just recently cut the price of the smartwatch to US$299, introduced new bands and also received a software update that helped improve its performance and added additional functions as well. Apple has scheduled WWDC for June 13 and we could expect the next generation Apple Watch to be announced at the same event as well. Xiaomi is apparently working hard to create its own subdivision of processors for smartphones, tablets and television sets. The new line of processors will apparently be called Rifle and will go head to head with processors from Samsung, Qualcomm etc. The APU will be based on ARM standardized license technology. The chipset will apparently be used in budget smartphones, tablets and television sets in order to reduce the dependency on other brands and also to reduce costs and thereby making the smartphones or devices cheaper for the consumers as well. We could expect the chipset to be announced alongside and even powering one of the two devices, the Mi Max and the Mi Band 2, which are scheduled to be announced on May 10th, happening next month. Nokia announced today that they're planning to acquire Withings, which is a digital health product and service company at 170 million euros or 191 million dollars in cash. Although the products from Withings and the services would continue to function in the same way, we could expect to see a collaboration in terms of devices and services in the future from both Nokia and Withings. Microsoft basically released its Wordflow keyboard for the iPhone today as part of the Garage project. The keyboard was previously available as a beta on iOS and Android devices but has now been released as a public version as well. The keyboard will basically allow users to type in an arc-like pattern using their left or right hand in a more ergonomic way and also allows for swiping as well as typing. The keyboard is currently available only in English but should see more languages being introduced in the near future as well. Today's deal of the day is basically the Lenovo Vibe S1 smartphone which is available at a price of Rs 12 triple nine, which is a good 2000 rupees off compared to the regular price of 14 triple nine. The offer is valid on the Vibe S1 through Amazon but is valid only for the dark blue variant and not the white variant which is still retailing at a price of actually Rs 19 triple nine. So this is actually a really good offer especially if you're looking for the Vibe S1 smartphone. If you want to get the Vibe S1 for yourself, do check out the description below where you can find the link to buy it for yourself. So that brings us to a point of today's discussion. How important do you think cellular connectivity is for smart watches? And now that Apple is planning to introduce an Apple watch with cellular connectivity, do you see cellular connectivity coming to a mainstream for smart watches? Do let us know in the comment section below and see you again tomorrow with more technological news.